Hey everybody, for those of you just tuning in, Julie is my name, Yarn is my game. We're reporting to you live from my Mecca of Yarn, still with the kiss, located in Guthrie, America. Um, today we are saying kind of goodbye to some samples and hello to some new stuff. So we've got a boxing slash unboxing and other stuff for you today. We're going to start with the boxing up. I shared with you last week the video from our fabulous fashion show on the prairie. Uh, many of the samples in the fashion show were on loan from our many of our suppliers, our yarn companies. They're so generous to help us out with that. Uh, most of them had to go back like right away, but we were able to hang on to these from our friends at Earth Yarns a little bit longer. I'm going to send them off to back to them today because they have other places to go, but I wanted to give you a, kind of a second look at these and uh, in fact this one wasn't even in the fashion show because obviously it was too small to fit on any of our models and we did not have we had enough going on without having to recruit small children this is a really cute baby sweater with lots of colors let's see what this is made with this is a combination of the uh, unique fingering and the harvest so we've got buckthorn and then 3004 which would be this bright color down here and that turned out super cute buckthorn's kind of your gold color there so and th these patterns are all available on earth's website if you go to patterns and they're usually organized by yarn go to your earth finger you can find this it is called the myrna cardigan some are free download some are patterns that they'll link you into ravelry so you can go and purchase it but that's a super cute sweater if you have somebody little to knit for uh, this one was in our fashion show, except it, we wore it as a cowl, I think kind of by mistake, but it probably worked better. It's actually a muff, which in Oklahoma, we have how many opportunities to wear a muff? <laughs> yeah, Jeannie's <laughs> laughing. Not very many. So if you like, if you, and plus it takes an amount of like grace and skill, which I don't have. Could you see me walking around with a muff on? No. <laughs> no, not at all. So we wore it more as a cowl and it's cute too. Uh, this is a fair isle piece. It's called uh, Mokum, M-O-K-U-M. And it is done with uh, two shades of the harvest in the worsted way. This was a beautiful piece. Check this out. See if I have it the right way. Hold that out so you can see it. This is the Eyes on You shawl. And it is done with its fingering weight. So this is the unique fingering. And it also has the monochrome, uh, which is also a fingering weight with it. And I think that is a really pretty piece. This is a short row shawl. This would be fun to make. One of you should make this thing. It's pretty. It looks like it might have a, that's like a crochet edge to me. What do you think, Jeannie? Or is that just mm. how it's knitted? No, it looks crocheted. My, yeah, we're not Kind of looks we like it. it's crocheted, but I don't have my glasses on. But either way, it's a pretty little edging. And that was a nice piece. This is gorgeous. For those of you who love the uh, Papillon, the butterfly shawl from Mary and Melcher, this is a follow-up piece. This is the poncho. And it is so pretty. This is, again, fingering. It's called a flutter poncho. And it has two colors of the, um, or I can't even speak, the unique fingering and one color of the monochrome fingering. That beige color would be that. Isn't that beautiful? See, it's just a reversible piece. Very pretty on. So that was on. I love this. This is synchronicity. Look how pretty it is. This is done with the worsted. It doesn't have a tag on it, but I remember right, it is, uh, it's the worsted. It's gonna be the Earth uh, Unique Worsted and the Harvest Fingering. Not sure what color that is, but isn't it pretty? I think that's nice. I think this is the one that we failed to get a picture of in our fashion show. The model must have uh, slipped right on by uh, Carrie, but um, in our fashion show guide, for those of you who wanna look at them again, um, if you go to news.spot.com and find where we talked about the fashion show, there's a link to the guide with all of these projects. Uh, this is actually shown kind of in a white with like a blue-purple multi. Um, but the sample they sent us, I, I like these rich colors better myself. That's just mm -hmm. my take. All right, and this is gorgeous. Um, this is the Boborg shawl. Um, in the pattern, it's shown in kind of bright colors. Uh, yeah, Boborg by Julie Dubrow. And it is really, really beautiful. Look how, how the colors shift. We love that. And again, it is the harvest. Uh, no, I take that back. It's the monochrome worsted and the um, unique worsted together. 
Um, this is a Ravelry download, but again, if you go to Earth Yarns website, they have all the links to patterns for this. They have a great pattern resource for all of their yarns. And as you see, we have pretty much everything here. We love this yarn. It's machine washable, it's soft. It's one of these yarns you just can't make too many projects with, in our opinion. So saying bye-bye to those today, but all the info is up on our website from our fashion show guide. Now let's see what came in. I was a good girl yesterday and did not open it up. Partially because I knew I was in it. And partially because I was way too busy yesterday. I'll save it for you guys today. We've been waiting on this one for a while. Um, yarn is hard to get right now from some places. And blue size has been one of them. We've been waiting on colors we're in cotton since, I guess since the shutdown. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to order since June. We're still waiting on some of the solids to come in. We finally got, uh, these are new shades of Metallica. We've always loved Metallica. And it's always been done in the um, neutral shade. And now they decided to give it some color. This yarn is so pretty. It is Mulberry Silk and Baby Alpaca. And that's one of the new colors, that beautiful green. I'll open these up. Yeah, with the box knife. You guys know me, you're worried I'm gonna need a Band-Aid for this is all over. We'll try not to. Gorgeous crimson. Ooh, what you call this color? That is unique. That's like a. That's pretty. Yeah. What do they call this? Sterling. Hey, that's the perfect name. Mm -hmm. The names are always nice. That's Sterling. This is Carmelian Red. The green is Jade. Spot on. This you want something a little softer. This is Rose Quartz. It's the first time I've seen all these in person. Jeannie is working on something out of them. She got a little, we got a little advance bit of it so we could start a project. Turquoise. There's a pretty blue. This is lapis. Am I missing anybody? Oh yeah, there's more. But wait. <laughs> there's more. Ah. Box knife did not hit me. Gold topaz. And last, and this one is sandstone. And that's the new Metallica shades, and there are new patterns to go with it. We'll be telling you more about that soon. It's on our list to tell you about now that it's here. This made a little early peek. Um, and then we decided to add, because organic cotton, worsted has been such a popular yarn for us, we decided to go ahead and add the prints. They actually came out with these last season, I guess last year, but we were up to our eyeballs in Rowan and I had to kind of call say no more because I was afraid that we were already worried where we were going to put this yarn when we added the Rowan flagship store. But now that we've kind of got settled in with that, we thought we have room for the print. Plus, even with all the Rowan, this organic cotton from Blue Sky still, still sells like crazy. It has kind of become a go-to choice for especially baby blankets. Very pretty baby blankets. And um, these print colors, this is Sweet Pea and Lady Slipper. I like this yellow. Sundrop, perfect name. I think we have all the colors except for one. There's one called, I think, Jack Frost. The color came in dyed weird, so we're gonna have to wait for more. Dusty Miller. I don't know what a Dusty Miller is. Is it just I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google that. Is that something everybody knows for me? <laughs> this is Mayflower. Is that a boat? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it's something else too. <laughs> this one is called Cottonwood. We know what those are. Mm -hmm. That's why we take allergy pills. Yeah. Cottonwoods in Oklahoma are not a good <laughs> Nobody likes cottonwoods, but it's nice for yarn. Uh, Sea Holly. Now, as an Oki, I sure don't know what Sea Holly is. Okay, and that's everything in this box. Oh, back to Earth Yarn. I forgot to tell you, this skirt I'm wearing today is made from the unique worsted. Um, this is the pencil skirt. Uh, it's from a Noro magazine. I think it's magazine 11, number 23 pencil skirt. It's a fun skirt to wear. I'm wearing it with my Hello Mellow Lounge Luxe Shark Bite top. Which again, is like wearing your pajamas, but yet you can look nice with your skirt. And you might be noticing this new shiner on my knee. 
Yeah, and you're thinking, aha, had Keely fell off the new exercise bike, my new Peloton named Jamie that I told you guys about on Thursday. No, I did not fall off Jamie. That's not what happened. Keith and I were setting up a new Iroku at my house and we had these little speakers that needed to go. I'm telling you, cleaning up old electronicals is a nasty job. So I'm getting these speakers out of there and it fell out of my hand and it fell on the floor and it, I it almost hit my foot. I thought, oh, that would have hurt. Keith's like, well, it hit my foot, but it didn't hurt him. I thought, huh, that's weird. So then I go to sit down on the couch to unbox something. I'm like, my knee hurts. I looked down and had this huge purple knot. Apparently the speaker had hit my knee unbeknownst to me and broke a blood vessel. So that is not from Jamie. But that does not mean we have not had, I have not had more escapades on Jamie. So Friday morning, after you know we spent two days walking around looking at him, because you guys saw some of it, trying to figure out how he works, I thought, okay, I'm going to give this a whirl. But I wasn't really ready to totally give him a whirl because I'd only had five hours of sleep because Mason had kept me up late helping him with algebra. And I have to get up at 5.40 every morning to drive him to the bus stop for his school. So I kind of dragged him here. I thought, I'm still going to give him a whirl. So I picked a leisurely ride to the French countryside. I have on my regular tennis shoes and I hop up there. This is all like at 7.30 in the morning. I'm all by myself. And so I start riding. I didn't make it through two minutes. It's kind of like the first time you're on the Stairmaster. You think, holy hell, how does anybody do this? My thighs are burning. My legs are like rubber. I couldn't make it through 10 minutes. Two minutes. I had to go sit down. And I start working. I look at him. I'm like, uh-uh. I am not 90 years old. So I get back on him and I count. One, two. I can maybe do 10 pedals. And I go sit down. I did that a couple times. And my legs hurt so bad. So Jeannie came in. I said, hey, Jeannie, have you had a chance to check out Jamie yet? She's like, no. And I was telling her about how horribly out of shape I must be, how I must be like a 90 year old on the, like the Wii Fitness thing. And she happened to mention that it has a setting on it called resistance. We hadn't changed the resistance. Apparently I thought it was a seat tightening knob at first. We had it all the way up. So I haven't had the energy to get back on him since then. Plus I am leaving for Dallas in a few hours to go to apparel market. So watch for me popping in uh, in a couple days uh, from apparel market. I'm taking my junior buyer with me. Mason is coming along. Uh, he gets a little break from school. I'm taking him with us, um, with me. And he's actually a good helper at market. He, he did a really good job last time he went. So I'll be popping in and give you guys a peek as what's going on at apparel market. And when I get back, Jamie and I have a date. And hopefully it will result in no more bruises or... Total, I mean, I wouldn't need the thighs to burn, but good Lord, I surely can ride that stupid bike for more than two minutes. I am not that out of shape. So that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you guys soon for Dallas.